On this episode of the Wyatt and Rika Travel Vlogs, we will be continuing our adventures in Malaysia with a Kuala Lumpur street food tour. There's so many options, huh? I love Kuala Lumpur. We will be trying a variety of the local cuisine in the city, including Malaysia's national dish, nasi lemak. That has to be some of the best rice I've ever had. Along with some other local favorites. I already know that these things are gonna be really dangerous because they're gonna be really <laughs> oh no. Hey friends, made it to Kampung Baru, a super notorious street food neighborhood here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. We're pumped right next to the Patronus Towers. We're like smack dab in the middle of downtown. Let's try some Malaysian food. Let's do it. There's so many options, huh? I just don't know what to choose. <laughs> How much is it? $13.80. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. First up, nasi lemak. Pretty sure that's how it's pronounced. We only ever read the name, but it's like the staple Malaysian street food dish. Basically, it comes wrapped in a banana leaf with coconut steamed rice. On the sides, you have a, it looks like a hard boiled egg, potatoes that have been fried, cucumbers, sauce, and crispy anchovies. I don't know how to eat this. I'm assuming you take a little bit of everything, but in the olden days, it would just come like this perfect triangle wrapped little ball of uh, coconut rice, but now it's served as more of this modern plate style. So I'm just gonna sort of take a little bit of everything, right? And just go for it. Then I'll eat the potato separate. That has to be some of the best rice I've ever had. So the rice is just, it has like a subtle note of coconut. It's fantastic. This is kind of spicy sauce, which adds some uh, punch to it. Potato, ooh, that is crispy, baby. Oh wow, it's like stuffed. Actually, this is amazing. This one's like a twice baked potato. It's been rolled into a ball and then deep fried, it looks like. It's got mashed potato, cheese, chives, a lot of good stuff in there. That is fantastic. All right, it's my turn. Since Wyatt's vegetarian, we kept the meat on the side, but it also came with beef, so I'm gonna try it with the meat. It's a mouthful. I can't talk. <laughs> that is really good. The meat is so tender and it's spicy, but not too spicy. It's just a great savory taste. Mixed with the rice, it kind of adds a nice like texture to it. And it also calms down the spiciness and makes it really good. We forgot the fried anchovies. You want to give those a try? Yeah. It's very common to have fried anchovies on top of this dish. So. Might as well try it. I'm gonna also try it with some egg. I'm yeah. just gonna get the whole thing in there. Get it all. I think Kuala Lumpur is right on the ocean, so it makes sense. Definitely. Mm. That brings in some new flavors. It adds a bit of saltiness to it, which I like, and crunchiness. It's basically like a potato chip with rice, which I don't really know how you think that tastes like, but it tastes good. <laughs> That meat got spicier and spicier the more that I ate it. Really? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's some Malaysian food right there. You're impressed? I'm impressed. Wow. Ah, thank you, thank you, thank you. That was super good. Really good. Wow, started off with a bang. Let's find some other food. Hi. What is this? Corn? Street corn? Barbecue. Want to get some street corn barbecue? Yeah. Okay. How much? One piece fighting game. Okay. So what is this, love? Street corn. Street corn. You, and you've seen it around. I haven't. This is the first time I've seen yeah, it. Yeah, I've seen it around this neighborhood area. It seems to be popular here in Malaysia, or at least in Sweet. Kuala Lumpur. Look at him fan that. 
So I'm pretty sure he has the flame going steadily until someone walks up and then he fans it like crazy to get it really hot and then he's gonna like barbecue the street corn for us right on the street. This is sweet. Love corn. Coconut. <laughs> this place seems to be really filling up, just like the streets. It's starting to be around 6.30, so I'm guessing around 7 it gets pretty busy. Yeah, I was I was surprised at how empty it was, but we were here, we got here like 5. Yeah. So, dinner time is coming, baby. This man is putting so much time and care into this corn. I'm so excited. <laughs> I know. Wow. Thank you Thank so, so much. much. Wow. What's your name? Mukris. Mukris. Yeah. Nice. Thank you, Mukris. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, let's try this corn. It is drenched in butter and coconut milk, the way the Malaysians do it. Imagine. I need to explain that it was. Wait, this is mine. No, 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 no. That's mine. No, no, no. Uh, no, it's <laughs> gonna. We're gonna need to share this one. <laughs> That is good. I feel like it's not your average corn on the cob. It's kind of a lot crispier because he's just been crisping that puppy up for a long time. And it's also sweeter because he just loaded it with coconut milk. But it has the buttery wonderfulness that we have usually in the United States. That is good. Thank you. Thank you, bye-bye, bye. -bye. We've literally only moved like 100 feet down this road. This is going to be our third stop. Um, it's called traditional kaya balls. Kaya toast is absolutely excellent. We tried it when we were in Singapore and they have kaya balls, assuming it's something like that. So <laughs> let's do it. You make them like you make waffles. Like they have a maker and then you put the little mix in there and then you flip it and it comes out looking like those balls there. That's cool. <laughs> and he's getting the Kaya jam ready. I'm pretty sure to put inside of the Kaya ball. Well, Kaya, coconut jam, chocolate, or mix? Um, should we get mix? Yeah. Ah, mix, mix. mix. Cause you already have six ready. Okay. Yeah. Only five ringgit for 12. It's like a dollar for 12 of them. Oh. I already know that these things are going to be really dangerous because they're going to be really good. <laughs> oh no. So kaya is a jam that they make from a pandan leaf and it's super popular all throughout Asia. We had some in Singapore on toast and now we're going to try it in full form. Let's try it. Super subtle, but really good. Like the kaya toast isn't super sweet, but I like that. I like the subtleness of it. So creamy, flaky, amazing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I gotta try one of these. Tastes like a waffle, but with like stuff in it. Oh, it smells like a waffle. It's like a stuffed donut hole. That's exactly, and it's like crispy on the outside and hot because it just came out of the maker. Maker? Yeah. That's really good. <laughs> Should we walk somewhere that's like a little bit further away now? Yeah. I love Kuala Lumpur. <laughs> okay, let's get Tate to read. Tay Tariq? Tay Tariq? Yeah? Okay. Great. Do we have one? Yeah. Next up is Tay Tariq, which is the national drink of Malaysia. And it's actually it translates to pulled tea because of the classic, like, long stream when they're pouring it into the gla glass. 
and that's just to like aerate it or make it bubbly. I'm not really sure, but they do it like every time. I actually missed it here, but we can flash back to Singapore when we did see it happen. Oh, classic. It's so good. It's sweet. They have a lot of condensed milk in there. It's pretty strong and it's definitely caffeinated, so I'm gonna be up tonight, baby. <laughs> My turn. It's super milky and creamy. It tastes super sugary until like the end, there's like an aftertaste of like, you know, your average tea that you'd taste. It's all right, it's pretty all right. If I had to compare it to anything, I'd say it's really similar to Indian chai, but it's less milky, I think. And it's a little sweeter. Yes. That's how I'd say it. It's really tea. Like it's classic tea, but then sweet and a little milky, whereas chai I think is super milky. Yeah, definitely. How many times did I just say milky there? <laughs> All right, we ate some food. Well, that's it. See ya. Coming up next, we explore one of the best things to do in Kuala Lumpur, the Batu Caves. Yeah, it's just as cool in real life as in Instagram. For sure. In this Malaysia travel vlog, we will be showing you all that you can do while visiting the caves. So there are actually four caves here at Batu Caves. And giving you our first impressions of what it's like. Woo, I'm still out of breath. I know, macaques are just like flying around everywhere, bouncing on stuff. This place is so awesome. 